When will altcoins come back? When alt season? That's the big question in crypto always. In this video, we will look at Bitcoin dominance on a daily chart and Solana on a weekly chart, along with Lux Algo analysis tools to try to figure out when Bitcoin dominance will top and when altcoins will break out, most likely led by Solana. If you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. This video is brought to you by Lux Algo. Please check out the link down below in the, in the description for more on how you can get this technical indicator suite. Okay, let's jump in. Kind of, we're going to do this fireside chat style, I think. Kind of relaxed. So this is Bitcoin dominance. Now, Lux Algo has an Elliott wave indicator, which is really interesting, right? So in Bitcoin dominance, starting in June 28th, it went up initially, it corrected, it exploded, it dipped a little bit, and then Bitcoin dominance exploded again because Bitcoin's still hanging around 60K and most altcoins are down anywhere from 20 to 50%. So Bitcoin has been the king. Now, when it comes to Elliott Wave, all big trends have five waves, right? The first... The first one is kind of a surprise. The third one is the big trend, like what you see here. And the five waves kind of emotional, just kind of like the Black Friday crash or Black Monday crash that happened only a week ago. This video recorded August 13th, 2024. So there is evidence, right? If trends have five waves and Lux Algo's Elliott wave indicator is saying, yes, you have a five wave structure complete in Bitcoin dominance. Bitcoin may stop dominating, okay? Now, if we look closer at the chart, we see this big red band. I'll show you how I got there, okay? This is in Lux Algo signals and overlays, okay? It's reversal zone. So I'll take it off the chart and then I'll put it back on the chart, reversal zones. Now, what it's gonna give you, it's gonna give you a band, right? Multicolored, so... You know, when you bump up against the band, that might mean whatever you're looking at is topping. If you get well inside the band, well, you know, then it's definitely overextending. It's a lot like Bollinger Bands that use statistics to wrap itself around price as it moves through time to try to give you an idea of how overextended the market is. Bollinger Bands use basic statistics. Lux Algo uses a formula that gives you like stretched out and very stretched out. I really like it. I've seen this stuff on Twitter. It, it's, it's very helpful. Now, one of the things from Bollinger Band theory that I'm porting over it to Lux Algo is that Bollinger Bands, normally when you have one touch, that's on the three wave, that's not necessarily a topping signal. But when you get that second touch, particularly when you've got deep up here, you know, you banged on this thing like four or five times. I'm guessing that that could be a top, right? When you bang on that, you know, upper band twice with a five wave signal. Now there's also something here that Lux Algo is using the signals and overlays system to effectively tell you that, you know, it's selling Bitcoin dominance or that Bitcoin dominance should go lower. Now Bitcoin dominance went lower and in this case popped back up right? This was recorded on a day when Bitcoin is up 2% and ETH is down almost 1% the day before an inflation number. So, you know, a lot of gymnastics here, but there also is an indication that Bitcoin at 57, or Bitcoin dominance rather, at 57 and a half, you know, is a substantial resistance point because of this band, the reversal zone, and because, you know, the, the bullish signal that occurred a long time ago in Bitcoin dominance had kind of a profit taking level. Lux Algo draws these things automatically, these blue dotted lines at around 57. So, you know, you have Elliott Wave signaling Bitcoin dominance is topping. You have a resistance band. You have a profit taking level. All of these hinting that Bitcoin dominance is topping and all coins could wake up because that's what Bitcoin dominance topping implies. Now, what moves 
What moves altcoins? Solana, right? Now, when it comes to Solana, there are two signals of note from Luxalgo. So I'm labeling this a weekly chart. All right. So this is called a breaker. In other words, I can identify, Luxalgo will identify points where big moves started from. Clean this up. In this case, it goes all the way back on this weekly chart to March of 2022. Now, Solana was a big inflection point right around 150. So Luxalgo uses its breakers indicator, which is here in price action concepts. So show breakers, I use yellow and pink instead of red and green. I check it and it should show up. This is effectively a support floor because Solana broke above it. And now Solana has been pounding on this level for now oh, almost... 10 or 11 weeks. Now, there is another signal here that would indicate that perhaps you can get a final dip in Solana. In other words, Bitcoin dominance is topping. When do you move in? Okay, on the Elliott Wave chart, right? On the Elliott Wave analysis, you have a top in Solana at 205, and then you have an ABC correction. So if you buy a standard chart book, it'll call it a zigzag. Essentially, if you just follow the mouse, right? It's A, so you'll make a top and go A down, B up, C down. Okay, a zigzag or an ABC correction. Now, what you're gonna notice over here is this big fat X. Now, normally an Elliott wave, an X wave can indicate that there could be more corrective activity before a bottom is in. Doesn't have to be massive. It just means you might get one more flush. So if you get one more flush into this area, right? This big support zone that I was talking about around 120. And if you go back to Bitcoin dominance, if Bitcoin dominance has resistance up here and they try to attack this resistance anywhere on CPI or anywhere because of a geopolitical event, perhaps you may be, you may have a setup where altcoins lurch down, Bitcoin pops up, and then that gives you like a final blow off move in Bitcoin dominance and an end to what's been happening in altcoins. So one more drop in Solana resistance in Bitcoin dominance. You want to know when you think about alt season, when everyone is selling. A lot of times people jump on alt season, meme coins, when the market's going up. I would say using the Lux Algo indicators that Solana is telling you there's going to be one more dip. And if there is one more dip, Bitcoin dominance is going to run into a ceiling, which could mean alt coins could have a floor underneath it that anywhere, everyone can't see. Please check out the Lux Algo link in the description.